Hey everyone, this is Stevie Richards. Welcome to the mountains and welcome to a video that I am so excited to bring you. A full review of this right here, the tent sauna and the wood stove combination. And not too long ago, we did a first look here on the YouTube channel. Now we're gonna do everything. We're gonna set it up. We're gonna build a tent for the first time pretty much ever since I was a young child. So hopefully that part's gonna be easy. I've watched a few videos. It doesn't seem that difficult, so I'm gonna cross my fingers. And also, we're gonna put the wood stove in there, we're gonna light it up, and we are going to use this as a sauna. And if you've been subscribed to the YouTube channel, you know I've done quite a few infrared sauna videos, but it's been, wow, decades since I've actually used, I guess what they term a wet sauna. So this is gonna be a regular sauna, and we also have some rocks that we're gonna pour water on to be able to make it a steam sauna. So this is pretty exciting. We're gonna make it as detailed as possible from the setup, which is pretty much gonna be right in this spot, the tent, all that stuff, and try to get as many angles and close-ups of all the stuff so you have a more informed uh, you know, review if you decide to get something like this. Because there's a lot of people they don't camp, they do camping with that and stuff like that, but most people put this in their backyard. So you can have it set up in your backyard as an outdoor sauna. You have a wood stove that you can use with rocks, just with wood on the inside if you wanna do that, or you can even cook on this wood stove. So we're gonna do at least two out of three of those and maybe try to cook if we have some cookware to be able to put on top of this. But I'm pretty, I think I've said I'm pretty excited. I'm very excited to bring you the video. So we are gonna get started by taking the tent out of the bag, show you the contents, and then of course, start hopefully successfully setting the tent up. So here is everything that came in the bag. Uh, we have, these uh, poles right here go inside the tent and that's how it gets its shape and it holds its shape. Uh, we also have, I believe these are the stakes, uh, twist stakes right there that will secure it. We have some cord here and we also have, I believe the pipe cover on the outside of that that folds up and Velcros to the outside of the tent. So let's, uh, let's start putting this thing together. So I just wanna talk about the way this tent works here. I was trying to get it while I was doing it, uh, but I couldn't really get a good, um, a good viewpoint on this. But I wanna show you right here. This is a very heavy zipper right here and the end goes right in here. And then you just have to kind of bring the tent up. What I was trying to do is bring uh, the connection pole or whatever it's called down to the tent, but I was actually bringing the tent up into the channel where this particular connection thing goes and you can see it's pretty pliable so on the very end here when I got to this I disconnected the end up until the point where it comes out and then just kind of fit it right in there and I zipped along and it fit right in the place very tight very snug uh, engineered very well so now I'm going to do the other side with this zipper right here and then put it through and our tent should be pretty much together and take shape and form. It's pretty cool, I'm pretty impressed with it so far. Like I said, I've never, since I was a little kid, even attempted to put a tent together and I can't imagine that it would be much easier than this. Okay, so we finally set it up. My wife is off camera here. Uh, this should be okay as a one person job. I think what I did wrong is there's a bottom cross beam and then a top one. So they kind of crisscross each other. Right here, you can see when I show you the zipper, I think I did the top one first and then I did the bottom one second, which is probably the opposite order because the bottom one was a lot harder, right? It was a lot harder to do, but now it's up here. And what we're gonna do is they come with the twisty stakes. We're gonna put these in and then we'll probably just put the wood stove in, give you a little tour of the inside. We lifted the window up because there is a window in this particular tent sauna and we'll be able to film and you can kind of see what's going on. It does not have a floor, so the ground is gonna be the floor. We forgot to bring a chair too from the infrared sauna, so we're gonna hook it up and see. This is the most level piece of land, by the way, that we have right here. Uh, and after we put these in, it should not go anywhere. And it's a pretty mild day. There's no wind or anything, but this is a pretty big tent sauna. My wife can definitely stand in it. I can just about stand in it. So what I might even do is get the yoga mat kind of fold it over and sit on the ground to make sure, is that okay? That's your yoga mat. I'll let you borrow it. All right, thank you. 
Actually, what I can do is probably stretch this out a little bit more, clear this off here, and see if I can get that. And it's great that they included this because I was assuming we would have to go to a place like an Academy Sports or something and get the 10 stakes, but they pretty much give you everything you need, and that's that's pretty tight. So we'll go to the R3. That was as simple as that, that put it down. As long as you stretch it out pretty taut, it should keep the tent right where it should be. But the, there's cord also if you want to tie it against the tree or do other things to keep it from blowing over in the wind. But we don't have that particular problem right now, so we're just going to use the four 10 stakes. Okay, so my wife was nice enough to take over camera duty, and we're going to get into the sauna here, the tent sauna. Just be careful. Everything is staked down pretty good as you come right in here. Take a look. I can, I can stand in this. I can stand up directly. I mean, the, the wood stove is going to go right over here, there, but I can stand even at about the lowest point of the tent. So that's not too bad. So it's got to be at least a height of six and a half feet, and the width is good. You also have these little pockets here, or one big two set, two pockets, I should say, to store whatever you want. That's pretty good. This window is very, very nice, especially for filming. And uh, we even have, where are they at? Down here is another Ven right there. I'm not really sure if that, that might be for the back of the wood stove, I think. I'm not sure. But as we come right up here, we also have a tie up here. Not quite sure. We even have ties right here. And on the outside, we can tie it down, like I said, uh, to prevent any kind of wind. Now this part here, I'm not so sure what the Velcro here does. There's Velcro back here, back here, here, and then two there. So I'm wondering if that's another way to secure anything. Even here, we have two, two Velcros. So I've checked it out. I didn't see that anywhere in the video. Pretty cool. I'm not looking forward to, to uh, taking it down. So now for the part of the video that terrifies my wife, we are gonna hook up the wood stove and we are going to probably not light a dangerous fire. We're gonna light a fire within the we're wood gonna stove. Try not to burn down the we're gonna do our floor. best. We're gonna do our best. We're gonna get in here and set it up. It's probably the most difficult part is trying to fit through that. Should have probably put the stove inside the tent before I set the tent up. So come in here. Now I gotta repeat, I really do like this case a lot. That is a really nice case. It's designed very well. There's lots of Velcro around here, but the handles just come down right here and also right here. And then there's a little flip type of Velcro right here. So it just comes out like that. So this is the back, obviously. This is where the stove pipe will go. Everything is inside as I, we got a washer and dryer in the cabin, so we're okay. So the wood stove will go right here. Do you think that's a good spot right there? I think so. Okay, it seems like it's pretty level, but inside the um, wood stove, we do have, <laughs> gotta break it in, there we go. We do have these, so we can put it down. So if it's not on a level piece of land, we can use these, but I think it's, hmm, what do you think? Let's figure it out. Let's figure it out, okay. But what we're gonna do, is take out the pipes. Now remember, these are pretty sharp. If you do get this, be careful. And getting it back in here is gonna be a little bit of a chore too because they're stacked up pretty darn tight in here. So gotta kind of figure this out. And that's gonna be an interesting part of the review video to be able to do that. But it's kind of cool that it comes with pretty much everything you need. You know the one thing they didn't give me? I saw in the review video one of those cool Russian hats to wear in here, like I have in the infrared sauna. They didn't include one, so I don't know if I take a point away for that or, or not. They'll probably send you one. All right, I hope so. <laughs> okay, so I've never put a uh, wood stove together either. So I'm putting a tent together for the first time and a wood stove, but this looks like it's pretty much maybe like Legos. That's my best guess. So. Let's see if this is the way it goes in. No, so I'm assuming there. I successfully done one of the pipes. Now we have the pipe right here. So what we're gonna do is set this up and then we're gonna have to line it up with where it goes out right here. And you might think as you look at this, well, it's sealed up. Hold 
on. Sorry. It's coming in. Sorry. This is sealed up, but they, they put a cover over there that actually flaps back and Velcros in the corner. So it's kind of a nice uh, design touch right there. There, that was an easy one. So I'm gonna try to see, sorry. Okay, so here's the thing too, that this is pretty tall. So I'm wondering if I don't need, let's see how high we can go with this. I'm assuming I do need to go that high with, with the stove, but it seems like this is gonna go through and that one would be an extra one if I was gonna go with maybe a taller one, or even if I had the legs on here, it seems like that I would need even less pipe for that. So let's just uh, do this. We're gonna go to the outside and I'm gonna show you how I un undo that and I can put the stove through. Okay, so here's that flap I talked about and you basically just, you can remove it completely if you'd like, like that, or just flap it over. So I'm gonna remove it completely there's even this little extra kind of like shielding for that. If you wanted to, I've seen people do this, where they just kind of leave it there so they know exactly where it's going to be. I'm fine with doing that. Now, if you want to stay right out here, I'm going to go in and then the stove should, or the stove pipe should come up through the vent as soon as I move it. If you hear me uh, scream, it's because I cut myself with the pipe. Hopefully that won't happen. So let's see. There's that. And we have our wood stove hooked up. There. There we go. Good job. Well, we haven't lit it yet, so there's not necessarily a good job yet. We'll see. So my wife made a great point, as she always does, because I tend to not think things through sometimes. But when it comes to fire, you should probably think a little bit, right, before you start. Uh, we decided to put these on. They screw on very easy to the bottom of the wood stove. We took the, the pipes off just very quickly, turned it upside down. We're going to do that. This will give it great stability and bring it up off the crowd, the ground, uh, so we don't have any um, chance of anything going on. And also, we're going to kind of push this out a little bit to give it a little bit of room as well. And we vented right there behind the wood stove. By the way, the Velcro, also my wife pointed out, maybe for uh, a floor accessory. So it Velcros and then you have uh, your floor to cover the ground to make it a little bit more comfortable. So here it is, the moment of truth. I know I said we're gonna cheat a little bit. We're not gonna use wood. We're just gonna do the door flame to make sure we get a fire going. Are you okay? I'm good. You sure? Yes. Okay. If, if this place catches fire, we, we didn't do it on purpose. This video will never make the internet. <laughs> We're not going to do that. Stop. They'll never let us rent the cabin again. Let's go in here. All right, so here we are. Wood stove is ready to go. We got the base there. I do feel better about the base being there. I know my wife definitely does. Let's light it up and we're gonna, you notice that this does close probably because the, the, it's a little bit off level, but it, it's like I said, the wood stove is sturdy enough, which makes me feel really good. Now, normally what you would do is obviously get some fire starter or light the wood up uh, after you put it in there. What we're gonna do with the door flame is light the two points on the edge and it tell us, tells us the light. And no turning back now. And the door flame will go in there. We got some fire gloves too that we're gonna, there we go. I'm gonna get a shot in there. We have a fire. and we are ready to go. So it'll take about 30, 35 minutes for it to warm up, and that's with wood, so I don't know about the door flame. I don't know if the door flame uh, will warm this up quicker or less. What I'm gonna do is take the vent and close that up for now until I come in here and then vent it. And obviously what we're gonna do is step out right here, and I'm gonna show you how we can zip this up, just like a tent. The build quality of this is very, very good, and 
it's really high quality. You even said when we were setting it up that the tent is durable, feels durable, and it's much bigger than you thought it was. So that's pretty cool. Okay, so we got the stove pipe up there. We're gonna unhook this over here, and we're gonna Velcro that. Lots of Velcro, lots of ways to seal it, and lots of ways to open it up if you need to. Now, what I would probably do too, this right here and this hook, I could stretch it out a little bit further on this tree, which I may do, like I said, but right now it's far enough away from the wood stove where I'm not worried about it. I can smell the smoke already. Are you gonna get all primitive I'm and be little, like, I'm excited. me mid fire? I'm gonna, go, I'm gonna go hunting now. We got our gun with us. So we do have some rocks. I mentioned in the beginning of the video about how we can get it even wetter as a steam sauna. So we're gonna put some rocks on top of the wood stove. You just told me it's much, much warmer in here already. So that's pretty cool. No pun intended. All right. Don't walk through here on rocks. <laughs> Dan, oh, I dropped the rock. There we go. A little, a little clumsy. All right, so I'm just gonna set these rocks here. It's already warmer. I can feel the wood stove. And what this will do, oh my God, it's almost like you planned it when you got these rocks. Look at how that fits. And then we got one more. So we're gonna get water from the cabin and as the, the rocks heat up and we pour water on it, it's gonna create a steam. Just, I haven't done a steam shower or steam sauna in so long. That's gonna be pretty cool. We could have got even more rocks, right? Yeah. I mean, I didn't know the, 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 the stove is much bigger than I thought as far as lengthwise. I can feel that. Also, you can cook on it. So if we brought that so those Soto camp things or put cast iron on here, we can cook. We can make some coffee. I don't. I never had a cup of coffee. Maybe this could be your first coffee. It could be next time. I, I, I don't want to. I don't want to think about setting this thing up again. There we go. Let's zip it up and get it done. Oh, there we go. I got to it back. Oh my goodness, that's hot. <laughs> That is definitely hot. We are not uh, hooked up with a lav mic or anything, nothing fancy. We are just uh, using the iPhone and I can feel the heat already. Now my wife is in here with me, obviously with the camera. Uh, we couldn't wait the full 30 minutes. We waited about 20, right? Mm-hmm. And it's warm in here. I'm just trying to get this. This is the only thing. Sometimes these zippers heat up a bit and I don't want to... Wow, <laughs> we haven't even poured the water on the stones yet. I think that's what we're about to do. Do you want to do it now? Yeah, might as well. All right, so they say it takes about 30 minutes or so. We pull one door flame block. Look at the colors. What's that called? Patine or whatever of the... Dirt. Uh, dirt? <laughs> no, when, when the copper turns a certain color. Patina. There, that's an Philly accent. I can't handle that. <laughs> you ready? Ready. Brand new iPhone filming. That's probably not... <laughs> All right, let's try. Whoa! Well, <laughs> um, well, I've seen people go, oh, that's a lot. That's nice too. Uh -huh. Whew. I don't think I heard anything. No. I can feel it up here. Stand up with me. Uh, it's going. No, here. Oh, oh, <laughs> that is much, much warmer up here. Yeah, yes. It's very nice, huh? Whew. I'm already sweating. Whew, okay, I'm, yeah. <laughs> you nice. feel that. But look, I, I just want to show you, I'm 6'2". I might be shrinking as time goes on, but I'm not even at the, the center where it's the highest point, and I'm able to stand in the sauna. So even if I was to do, a, I mean, I'm not going to do a full workout or anything, but you can feel like you're not scrunched up or anything. You don't have to sit down. Yeah, because... What's that? No, I'm just... We have lots of room over there. Oh, well, even my arm. Yeah, there you go. I'm going to hit it again. <clears throat> I like that. Now, you're standing up, so I want you to... Whoa, look at that. That's nice. Whoa, that feels like a sauna. Very cool. So, 
We're going to check back with everybody. We'll probably be in here for... Well, You're steaming up. For, yeah. <laughs> All right. Brand new iPhone 13. Let's not ruin it. This is our first just impression of this, but we're going to come back. We're going to use it more, and then we're going to break it down and also call it down at the end. There is steam coming on that, isn't there? There is. Oh, good Lord. <laughs> So it is the next morning, it's very early, but the sun is coming up and we're able to actually shoot this. So you can see the tent still stands, no bears. We have reports and video footage that we're gonna to try to get from the owner of the cabin that will be roll in of bears actually coming up, going onto the uh, ledge, going after the Blackstone Grill, but they aren't a fan of the tent. So the tent still stands. I have not unzipped this, so I don't know what's inside the tent. Maybe a smart bear is inside this tent. But one thing my wife did find. A giant freaking spider. A spider, which is uh, still right there. So there it is. So what we're gonna do, talking about disassembling it, besides the fact we're gonna try to shoo the spiders away and not kill them, right. not gonna step on them. Uh, the stove pipe's up here. So what I'm gonna do is go inside, take the stove pipe out of this, so disassemble that and then lift the tent up after I take the four stakes off and we're gonna disassemble or we're gonna you know, compact the tent for, the, for storage in the bag. It's probably the easiest way to do it because obviously I lift that up, the pipe and the, the stove might, might be tipped over and we still have ash and stuff like that that we need to dispose of. The fire was successfully extinguished. We sprayed some water on it and a couple times and checked it before bed. Do not leave a fire burning at all. So we watched the YouTube video, they told us that. How's that? How's that for sounding like an expert? So let's go in here. No bears, but maybe spiders. So let's go in, let's do this and we'll come back and we'll, we'll unzip the tent and show you that hopefully it's gonna be much easier to put back into the bag than it was to take out. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> so my wife got me on that one but we shook it out no spiders and there's nothing behind me see i looked so that way you don't see me running off camera again but i want to show you what hopefully i did it wrong putting it together like i said i did the top part with the zipper first so i'm assuming the bottom goes first and then that top part would have been easier the zippers over here and we just zip it out, goes all the way across, and should be very, very easy to disassemble this. So let's make sure, there we go. So what I wanna do, there. So it's gonna be a lot easier, and these things are designed very, very well. So I'm gonna just take it all the way out here. You can see the natural bend in them, and then I'm gonna put it back in that long green bag that's on the ground right there. So. It's literally, I think, just making sure it's a little tough on some of these. There you go. So we're just going to fold it over and get it to where it compacts into itself. So breaking it down is much, much easier. It's just a very tight fit. So that's one. A lot easier to do that and then put it in the bag and we got the other one too now like i said now that i'm doing it definitely definitely the bottom zipper first there's one we're kind of doing this in real time once again i remind you i've never put a tent together and of course this is the first time i'm breaking this down so zipper here all the way down and then come all the way across here now taking it apart, like I just did, it's probably the way to do it is go with the top zipper first and then the bottom. And where it catches is just those little insertion points, like right there. That's the only reason it's catching, but it's very, very easy. Now be careful when you get to the bottom here that it doesn't pop out because it could spring like that. So. Thank God, one of the few things I didn't learn the hard way, getting poked in the eye with that. Okay, right there. Now we're doing this pretty much in real time. It's, it's a very quick disassembly, right? Mm -hmm. It's not bad at all. So 
flip it over, flip it over again. So I'm kind of just doing what I believe to be the way to do it is just kind of, you know, we're going to take that out there. These are the ones that are a little, a little harder to, there we go, kind of get out of there at the curve. It's a very tight point, but it's the shape of the tent. So you kind of have to have these curved ones too. There we go. Plenty of room in the bag for storage. As a matter of fact, what I could do is take the steak bag and put it in here so everything's kind of in one large bag. There's plenty of room. Draw a string it up. Put it right here. Now over here you can see we have the um, the stove pipes. So I'm just going to take those apart again real quick. It was very easy to take it from the top. And they seem to be a little more pliable now that it's heated up. The tricky part is getting it back in uh, the wood stove because that's a tight one right there. Because, like I said in the beginning of the video, there we go. These are very sharp, so just be careful with that. And they got to stack up exactly to fit in so you can close the door. Uh, do you want to fold this up and check it out? Let me shake it again, right? Right there. Okay, now I forget how I fold it up and I'm assuming that we can just fold it around here and just try to roll it up to where it fits in the bag. There's probably an exact uh, method for doing this and I'm not gonna employ that right now. So let's get this here. I'm just gonna try to line the zippers up as best as I can. Kind of tuck this and then what I can assume that I might do, I'm either gonna fold from this end or this end. Which do you think is better? This end maybe? Okay, that's the thicker end though. That's why I didn't know. So basically, just like this. No spiders. All right. And I can see, maybe feel it. Let's get the bag, bring it over here. The bag stretches out, so it's probably going to be able to fit. Um, after I do a couple things here, maybe to get it to fit. It looks like it's too big now, but if I fold it over again, we can make it work. In here. Like I've said a few times, this is coming from completely inexperienced person setting this up and breaking this down. Oh, there we go. I may have lucked out the first time. And high quality bag, zippers are very high quality as well. So it's the fact that I'm stretching this out and the zippers are on both sides. So I can get it to work. Perfect. What do you think? <laughs> that works. We'll get it zipped up. It's just, all right, let's see if we can. It really is kind of just tucking it in, I guess, right? This is riveting stuff. I'm gonna, I think I'm gonna do it. I did it. Ugh, no, I'm not gonna do that. So this, you have to be really careful. And I figured out maybe kind of putting my hand in the stove pipe, that's how I got this. But I'd rather get this than get cut. So you can see right in here maybe, as we go around, the pipes are in there. So what I was doing was lifting up from the pipe and then putting, cause it's hard, you can't possibly fit it up there. So you have to work from the bottom. And I'll try to do it one last time here. Hopefully it will work. And fit this in here. It's extremely a tight fit. So it's gonna, there we go. There we go. Can't believe I did it. And that's it. So you have to kind of work your way from the bottom with that. And of course we got the case here. I just like the way this case is designed. It's really a smart way of doing it. So we're gonna try to figure this out. Here's the top part because of the slits. Here's the bottom part because you have 
holders for the corners of the wood stove. So we're gonna lift it up. There's two little handle things right here. The case is, you know, it works from either side, so it's universal. Just wanna make sure you line it up with that and then make sure it's there. And then come over to the top right here. It's gonna be a pretty tight fit right over here. And then you have the Velcro right here. And then the handle comes up here. I'm telling myself this, not you. I'm giving myself these instructions. And there we go. So, we, <laughs> get these straps over here. Did we do it? I think we did it. I think we're bringing home, are we bringing home new pets? Probably. It looks that way. So it's not quite the same because these, these little hooks aren't too, but for a first try, it's not too bad. So I'm gonna take a seat after all that and hope not fall back on the uneven driveway. Uh, that is about it. Uh, my opinion on this, being somebody who, like I said, has absolutely no experience putting a tent together, hasn't done it since he was a kid. It was just one or two times in my early teens. My wife doesn't believe me. Yes, I put a tent together in my lifetime. I camped out. You might not believe it. By the way, I ran away earlier, but, <laughs> but um, if you're looking for a tent sauna, and this is more specifically the case. Obviously, if you want to take a camping, you could set it up, you can break it down. But for people, a lot of reviewers have put this in their backyard as a tent on as, as an affordable solution and a portable solution. So when you go to move, you don't have a big barrel sauna in the yard and it has to stay or you have to disassemble it or get professionals to do it and then reassemble it. Uh, this is a more portable option for that and a, least, a less expensive option like the infrared sauna that I have in a home gym. It's great, works instantly, doesn't need wood, but it's about maybe three times the cost of this, depending upon conversion and of course pricing and on certain times that we're living in and shipping. Did I just, did I just wipe that stuff on my face? <laughs> Let's see. Dude. Nope, yeah. you're good. <laughs> How about now? Am I getting ready? Yeah. Getting ready for the football game? You're, you're getting ready for something. Is that the, is that the thumbnail? Wait, let's, let's look at your... There we go. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> All right, so I do recommend this. This is a great product. They've put a lot of thought into engineering this. They've like, Sorry, you could you say that again? <laughs> what in the world? I'm laughing that you just put soot all over your face. Hello there. It's Ash Wednesday, everybody. So I, in all seriousness, I really do recommend this. They put a lot of thought into the engineering. And at the core, when I'm sitting on this wood stove, if your power goes out, you are able to get a heat and cook. So if something happens to the grid or anything like that, even if it's not a tent sauna, as a means of survival, having a wood stove is always a great idea and it's something we've been looking for. So we have a double use for this. And I'll probably cover it in the future video where we do cook on the wood stove specifically and do a review on that. So please check it out. Link for all this stuff will be in the description below. Um, you know, they probably have a price with soot included. Uh, and also, if you want an 8x10 of me with soot over my face, go to stevierichardsfitness.com. I'll add it to the store, and we can ship it to you. So thank you, guys. God bless. Stop it again. Stop it. You did it again. No. Don't. Let's get out of here. Thank you, guys. God bless you. Have a great day.